Rivets! Well, when we last left our intrepid adventurer, he was riveting a wing. A uh, horizontal stabilizer. That's what he's still doing. So, this is uh, a continuation of the last video um, in which I showed uh, section 8-13, steps 3 through 5, on the top. And now, uh, I think in the tail end of the last video, I showed part of 3 through 5 on the bottom. And this is the continuation, uh, or really the finishing, of the bottom side. Um, again, just lots and lots of riveting. It's the same thing over and over again. Uh, I've sped up the video uh, super fast. I probably could have even gone faster. Um, Boy, if I could really move this fast, it would sure make this work short. But no, unfortunately, I can't. So uh, here we go. We're riveting. We go back and forth between the rivet gun and the squeezer. You know, if I can use a squeezer, I'll use it every time. Uh, for the, ma the majority of the, the skin, though, you, you have to use the rivet uh, gun and bucking bar, which, you know, that's why you bought them. So every once in a while, I do have to drill out because I make a mistake. Typically, the mistake is that um, well, I'll put the... the the riveter up there and then I'll put the bucking bar and I'll push with the bucking bef bar before I start to rivet. That's the wrong thing. If you do that, you end up basically squeezing it half in and a half out or, or uh, not squeezing, but uh, you know, bucking it half in and half out and then it just, it looks all messed up and it's it's not smooth to touch. So what, something you'll see me do every once in a while is I'll, I'll take my finger and I'll run them over the rivets. And if I can't feel the rivet, it's a good rivet. If I can feel like it feels like I'm scraping my finger over it, well, that rivet's got to be replaced. Here you can see I'm doing the edges, and I did this all around. I thought I'd give a close view so you can see exactly what that looks like. Um, it's going super fast, but I mean, it's the same thing you've seen a million times before. You put in a rivet, you put the squeezer up to it, and you give it a push. And then here, after reading a little bit of the instructions, it's time to put the rear spar assembly in place, Clico it down, uh, you know, Clico the skin on, that's what I'm doing here, and then uh, put the bigger Clicos on and then start pop riveting. So this is all blind riveted, uh, which, you know, the funny thing is, is I kind of appreciate using blind rivets because they're just so easy to use. Um, I, I wish you could use the whole, you know, use them on every single piece of the plane. I'm, I, I bet they probably are nowhere near as secure as real rivets, but still, they're easy to use. Uh, but then, on we go to Clicoing the skin, I'm sorry, not Clicoing, riveting the skin, rather, to that rear spar assembly in preparation to being done. Um, there's, it's one of those things, you get you get to this point where you can, you know, see the light at the end of the tunnel and it gets really exciting because it's like, oh, I'm so close. And sure enough, I am. Thanks a bunch for the people that are responding uh, either via YouTube or via my website, uh, saying that you guys you know really like listening and seeing this stuff. That that's really inspirational. I very much appreciate it. I cannot tell you how much it means to me that someone actually took the time to not only watch this silly video that I'm making, but then actually responds and says, "Hey, thanks for making the video. It meant a lot to me because th that that inspires me to keep going. I really appreciate it. Thank you." Also, I've added a little bit of background music. Um, it's kind of the music I, I listen to, real relaxing. In this case, it's Chill Step or something. But I listen to that sort of music. It's kind of mellow. Uh, or I listen to audiobooks. In fact, I know I was listening to an audiobook during this one because I just finished it. Uh, but, yeah, I put it back there so that sometimes when I don't speak, it's just not dead air. And here you see me actually turn the whole thing around to do the other side um, and speed it back up. <laughs> uh, nice slow turn and then speed it back up so you can see the rest of it and get some notion of how, how much work there is involved. That tunnel entrance or that tunnel exit, I guess, is getting that much closer. One thing I did think they did really well, um, you have those white brackets there at the top where everything's gonna eventually be uh, bolted together and they fit perfectly, or the, the rivets fit perfectly on either side of that, so you can still use the squeezers. It tells me that Vans put a lot of thought into how all of this fits together, and they had the foresight to go, you know, if you put a rivet right at the end of this, you're not going to be able to close that rivet. So, again, uh, good job, Vans. I, I gotta be honest with you, the more I work on this project, the more... I really appreciate what a good job they did. 
here and cleaning up my work area, something I need to do a lot more often. And there you have it, look at that. It's a horizontal stabilizer. Um, I still have to go in and do some of the extra work that's in the middle there. That was actually part of an earlier step, but the, the step itself said, you know, this might be easier to do later once it's not in those uh, cradles. And sure enough, it was right. The, there was some that you had no access because you're, you're basically right down at the bottom. It would have been impossible to, to get those and to do it and make them look even remotely decent. So I, I opted for doing that last bit later and that's what I'm doing here. Uh, nothing difficult, just riveting like uh, six or 10 different rivets, uh, different size rivets and, and getting in there and making sure they look good. And this is what uh, the area that I was working in. You can see the five rivets on the nose rib flange. Uh, that's the what I was working on. It's just a little bit difficult to get to when it's in the cradle. And there you have it. That's the end of the horizontal stabilizer 8-13. Thanks, guys. Um, in the next video, I begin working on the elevators. Fun, fun.